Good day, everybody. This is the Ecclesiarch here, back with some more Horus Heresy Legions, and welcome to my third version of the Cardozia deck. Now, you might have seen my two other versions that I did months ago, and finally, I think it's time to drop version number three. So, obviously, it's still going to be based around Sons of Medusa because Cardozia really has a natural um, synergy with it because he can generate vehicles. So, it's really, really good overall on him. And Iron Hand's mission has become really good ever since the changes to the Iron Hands, the rework, because they now have a lot of vehicles that can just deal uh, direct damage. So we're going to have double Terum Rapier. Terum Rapier is just really good because a, um, like a lot of opponents will not be able to get rid of this easily. And the ability on this is just crazy because it can give so many ticks on your um, mission that is not even funny. All Vander Speeder is very necessary because it's a flank, so once again, gets your mission trigger off very quickly. And Harmic Squad is there to generate some Augmentics because we are going to be needing some Augmentics later on. We have Double Iron Salvo as like a little bit of damage plus uh, the ability to lower some costs. Iron Shield Rhino because a very good vehicle to drop a 3-drop because of that ability to generate the Legionaries. We have Ancient Dipolix, once again, great vehicle synergy. Bitter Memories, I think one copy is alright, because it's 4 and not 5 like most of these things used to be, and it really does scale in the long run, so you could run one of these and really find some value in it. If uh, you think that it's too slow, you can always replace that. One copy of Medusa just to draw some cards and get some Augmentics. Gorgon Hammer Bears just for Augmentics once again. A Ruthless Cannonade for AoE. Ungavar Malkador as well as the Venita Ven Venerati Oberas are there for the great fight abilities. Ancient Morn for reduction. Ironclad Punishment as our hard removal. Of course we have Clan Rakan because it can help you drop like very heavy vehicles very early. Uh, we have the Atraxian uh, Kratos as well as Probaxis and Adamatian Glaive. So our late game vehicles are just there. Probaxis is really crazy, as you guys know. You just need one Augmentic and this guy can just finish everything off by itself. And one Iron Father Venebras just for um, cheap vehicle generation. So this is a very heavy deck compared to my previous Cardozia. Another thing that you can really do, and I think we're going to try that actually, is you can ditch the Rapier and get like one drilling site which could be really good just because you're playing such a heavy deck so one drilling site can always be like a really good thing so overall with this deck <clears throat> you need to survive a couple of turns and then you just go crazy so let's see it in action let's drop right in and let's see if we can climb back to terra real quick and do some work okay we're against gabriel santar and we're actually going first. <laughs> That's actually funny. Seeing Cardozia go first is always funny. We're going to switch both because we do want to get some low costs if possible. Well, Bitter Memories in hand is always good. He also has low initiative, right? Wow. Iron Hands really have a lot of uh, Warlords that have low initiative. Funny enough. So, Santar has the advantage early, and we have the advantage late. So, we'll see how that rolls. Okay, Terum Rapier, that's beautiful. I prefer to buff the Terum Rapier, rather than, or Rapier, rather than, like, um, just draw a card. This is also pretty easy. Whenever you play a vehicle, this becomes cheaper, and it's funny. Okay, he does play the Iron Salvo, but it still awards me one tick of my thingy. So, we're gonna play Bitter Memories here, and just pass. So we're kind of giving him the initiative this moment, but it's going to give us a lot of bonuses later on. Okay, let's see what you got. Oh, Command Bridge, so he also played a slow turn. Interesting. Interesting indeed. In that case, don't mind if I do. It's actually a gold face. <laughs> so let's see what he has to destroy this. Because his ironclad punishment should not be available. He did not play any vehicles. 
So he needs one more turn to get that. So we should be fine. Oh, that's a scary unit. That's a very scary unit. Now, uh, funny enough... Funny enough, we can get rid of that quite easily. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. And we're gonna do this. Do this, and do this. That puts us in a pretty good place. Now it's interesting, is he gonna use a hard removal on this? If he does, then I have Clan Rakan, and we're going to... We're going to drop a Probaxis. And by the way, that's gonna be a 10-10 Probaxis. Oh, Bitter Memories. What? Bro. That's not good at all, honestly. Here's the thing. I'm going to generate this. I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Uh, use Rokan this turn. Reason for that being, next turn I'm gonna have lethal with it. I'm gonna use Clan Rokan, then drop Probaxis and augment it, and it's just going to basically <laughs> take him out. Provided he's able to even clear this. Or I don't even need Clan Rakan. I could just use Master of Mechanisms. Play this for five. Okay, that's pretty good. I'd say that's not bad at all. However... That's going to be a finish. Okay, GG. I think we had lethal even without that, using the tank, but... I think I think it's always cooler to finish in style, so... Yeah. Conrad Curse. Now, this is an interesting one. Certainly going to enjoy beating a curse if we can. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, nice. So we got double Rhino. That's pretty good. Uh, here's the problem, though. Uh, I'd love to keep it for Gorgon Hammer, Hammer Bearers, but I really do want this to... I really do want this to give me some stuff. Hmm, no Threx Squad? Well, that's kinda kinda unlucky for him. Okay. The reason I'm not playing the heart is because I got hammer bears coming, so yeah. I do want the Dogmantic for the Hammer Bearers. Jesus, man, what kind of Conrad are you playing? Are you like... Don't you have anything to play yet? Wow, if I was Ferris Manus right now... This board would have given me like... An instant reckoning or something. But unfortunately, I do not have Ferris Manus because I missed him in the shop. Which I am very sad about. He's not, like, 
the strongest warlord, but he's very fun. Uh, double ironclad punishment is certainly good. Okay, it's a bit of a, a bit of an issue that he. Okay. Bit of an issue that he played a stealth unit, but it's okay. He has to bash into that, use his ability, because this has to go. He can't leave that. We're suddenly not playing for vehicles, but we're playing for Astartes. That's actually pretty funny, because our deck is a little bit mixed. It doesn't only have vehicle, it is all, it all, vehicles, it also has Astartes in there, so... Can be a little bit wild. By the way, I think Ruthless Cannonade is good anti-stealth. Because a lot of stealth units just have 3 HP. But if you really see you're, you're struggling with it, you could get Call of Cowardice instead. Depends on the meta, depends on the situation, and so on. Oh, so he actually chooses to save the unit. Okay. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough, brother, fair enough. Okay. That's two ticks right off. Which is uh, pretty good. So, 3 damage, 2 damage, so he cannot take it out with his, um, what are they called again? Night Predators. So he can't really do it with that. So he needs at least 2 flank units. If he drops a Threk squad, it, he has to sacrifice it and use the ability. If not, it's just not gonna work because he'll have to reduce the attack first. And they'll then play the Threk squad, so I think we're somewhat in an advantage. These ironclad punishments are not becoming like end yet, which is kind of sad, I guess. Well, curse today. He just passes. Okay. Be my guest. Be my absolute guest. Make it stop. Okay. Well, we did. We did make it stop. Go for game three. So those... Actually, those double... Um, it's actually pretty interesting. We chose to sacrifice card draw for a little bit of tempo and another curse. Oh my god. But then again, I'm not surprised. He was in shop recently, so... Medusa could be good. Let's keep it. Oh, my guy has the skin as well. Okay, okay, okay. Therum Rapier. That's good. Unfortunately, um, I think the Hermic Squad is next. Okay, my brother. Uh, let's drop the Hermic Squad. Let's also do this. Do this. Do this. 
Oh, augmented leg. That is beautiful. So, in total, I'm gonna need six energy to make this work. Yikes. Not too good. Not terrible either. Well, okay, he wants to trigger murder. That's absolutely understandable, good sir. Let's do this so that he does not easily trigger terrors on this. Oh. So you chose not to take fun. that damage. Okay, brother. Okay. Uh, how about this? And this. So Night Lords tend to have a ton of flanks, so I do not expect him to get stuck at any point in terms of removal. If he does get stuck, it'll be very funny. Ah, Huntsmaster Gudel. <laughs> Screw you, Huntsmaster Gudel. Well, in that case, I have to rely on luck a little bit. Well, didn't work out, but, you know, could have been worse, I guess. <laughs> That's not good. That is... Oh, are you fucking kidding me, man? Okay. You're not gonna have another invisibility, are you? I'll seriously go crazy if he does. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna start with this. All right. We're alive for now. But he's very low on cards, that's the interesting part. If you're so low on cards... What if I do this? What happens next? <laughs> you go invisible, obviously. That's what you can do. Only. Okay, what now, Night Hunter? What are you gonna do against this? Uh oh, somebody is in trouble. <laughs> That's what happens when you emote too early, my friend. That's what happens when you emote too early. Well, GG.
That's curse number two for the taking. Let's see game number four. Oh, we got a custodian in the house. Okay. This does seem like a very good hand. I'm gonna keep it. I'm not actually sure if we're that good against custodians. Honestly speaking. Because they tend to be pretty friggin' powerful. Well, he's playing a pretty shitty unit. Oh, that first strike is kind of meaningless there, so... Let's do it like that. That's a problem. Okay, augmented leg. Thank the gods. Oh, are you serious? Another friggin' one? Oh boy. Yeah, this isn't, this ain't looking too good. Um. here honestly just have to do this first and do that reason why I think custodians are gonna be tough is that they are very good at dealing with large units that we're going to be playing. They also get a lot of first strike. And the enemy warlord is also a value warlord. So, like, it's... Eh. This is good. But now, look, now this is going to still take this out with first strike. So those first strikes are going to be the bane of our existence, honestly. Okay, this is where we surrender, boys. GG, GG, can't say anything. The guy, like, whipped us real bad. I think it's actually going to be quite difficult to fight the custodians with this. Uh, first Strike, in general, does really good against the Iron Hands. Afni Iran. That's interesting. Ironclad, let's keep Ironclad. We can also keep Epolix. That's not too good, but if we get Clan Rakan, it's still gonna be nice. He's playing Sons of Dorn. I honestly don't think Sons of Dorn is a good mission, but if he gets lucky enough, he could pull it off. Seriously, man. If that's the hand he's gonna get, yes. He's certainly gonna pull it off.
Okay, he needs to waste two energy to take this out. Um... Hey, this is actually pretty good. Yeah, let's do this. We can't have this guy just keep doing his mission like that. Does this have Rally to give you an Augmentic? Nope. Alright, alright. You're next. Hmm. Okay, the augmented leg is gonna be perfect. This reduces in hand as well, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna get the glaive pretty soon if this continues <laughs> unless he actually kills me until then Jesus He's actually trying to kill me. Yeah, good night. Close though, man, close. That was a nasty <laughs> opponent. He had another Conrad curse, oh my god. Oh boy. Uh, not the glaive, please, not the glaive in my hand, please. Not against friggin' Conrad. I have seen the times to come, and I do not die today. Okay. Okay, nice, nice. That is actually pretty nice. Oh, that is... That is perfect. Slow turn, huh? Okay, go face. Come on, do the mistake and go face. I was hoping you'd make a mistake, but fair enough. Let's see if you still pay for that, though. Yes, you do. But it was correct for him not to go face. That was the correct play. Because then I would have face bashed and, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Should I play the Epolix here? I don't think so. I think this is the play here. Hammer bears are gonna be very good. Hmm. He can't take out the Pulix for free, which is kind of sad, but oh well. What can we do, right?
This does three damage. Okay. Hmm. Not the fucking Hunts Master. That's a weird move. Bit of a weird move. Because he could have taken that out for free. Like, he could have reduced the attack and then attacked with the sergeant, or Atramentar guy, basically. Okay, attack on Sukbal side is... Very well, my friend, very well. And let's do that. Does he lose here, actually? Yeah, he does. GG. GG. I think he made one crucial mistake, which was not trading correctly there. I think he just got greedy for the, um, for the transformation. And yeah, we kind of punished him for that. So, Inferno, let's see what we get from this crate right here. Okay, sure, some Custodian cards, that's fine. Okay, so how many games did we do right there? One, two, three, uh, four, uh, five, right? No, that's six games. And we won five, three against Conrad Curse. So this is officially a Conrad Curse butt-kicking video. <laughs> Actually, quite ironic because... Some time ago, I lost to Cardoja with Conrad as well. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment and tell me what you think. And Ecclesiarch out.